Well, hi everyone. Welcome. It's Tuesday here on Inspiration for Today. And I hope you saw yesterday's show and we had Linda Miller on. And today we have Brandon Miller on. And Brandon, well, I guess it's not too hard to think of that you were the son of Linda. Really? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, this wonderful fish behind me uh, are Brandon's. And he takes great care of them. Let me just read, God always have a verse for the day, and it's Genesis 1, verse 20, and it says, And God said, Let the waters teem with living creatures. And then it goes on, The waters do teem. And Brandon, yours, your tank is salt water. It is. It is salt water, and I love it. It's a lot of work. You, you were showing me there's <laughs> so much to do. There is a lot to do, but it's really rewarding seeing all of God's workmanship, really, and the beauty yeah. of the different fish. We, you guys aren't <laughs> going to believe this. So we, we were out to dinner together, and we come back in, and it's like the fish go to him. They see this dad has got home. It's awesome. Well, anyway, so everyone, I'm going to pick up the camera, and we're going to let Brandon uh, show us some of those fish. So here we go, and now, Brandon, tell, let's, where do we start? So I'm just going to start right over here in this corner. When we put all this stuff in and, and all the rocks together, everything was flat. And you can actually see right there, as I'm saying, this guy actually picked up some of the sand, ate it, and dropped it onto his little pile. I, I know, he's saying that because I got so fascinated that this, look, at there he goes. <laughs> He's, he wants to build a pile of sand. So what he's actually doing is he's looking for little microscopic organisms oh. in the sand to eat. And uh. it also stirs the sand up, which oh. prevents chemicals from building up in there. Okay. So now what are some of the other... Oh, don't you love some of these? That's a very common one I've seen. It looks like... A clownfish. A it's clownfish. Nemo. Nemo from Finding Nemo. And Nemo has, him. looks like he has a friend that's the yes. same. Same type. Yeah. On the saltwater aquarium, you only really want, in general, one of each fish because oh. they'll fight. Clownfish are one of the exemptions um, to that rule, though. You want two of them. Um, if you look right there, there's actually a little crab cleaning off the rocks. Oh, yes, but that is a small thing. Yes, it's a small thing, but all the small things work together to create really an ecosystem in here. It is an ecosystem. And that is amazing, too, how the Lord honestly makes things to work so, yeah. so well. Now, you're, you're, you're kind of like helping them along here. Th th this one, is that a shrimp? Yes, that's what's called the cleaner shrimp. If the fish get any like parasites on them uh, or anything like that, that shrimp will actually, they'll actually go over to the cleaning shrimp and they'll actually pick off the little surface parasites off of the fish and eat them. Have you seen them do that? Once. I try not to, because that no. means that there's parasites in there and I try to prevent oh. that from happening. Okay. But I've ha had it happen once or twice and it's really cool to watch. Oh. Sometimes they're just taking off dead skin too, which is really cool to see. I can't imagine it. Now these yellow ones, they're beautiful. Yeah, so just like the one that will eat the sand, these guys will actually bury themselves in the sand at night, which in nature was to hide from predators. But again, what's that good for for me is it mixes up the sand to keep the chemicals. So they actually do go to sleep at night? Yes. No way! All these fish go and hide at night into little areas and they'll like hide completely from me. And it's like, where are they? So you, like you turn off the light and that makes it night or does it? Yeah, um, I have these I have lights up here that basically are controlled on a timer. So they'll dim up and go down to, oh, to mimic natural cycles. Now these, uh, these are alive also, aren't they? Yeah, the, so when the coral is it yeah, coral? These are this is a coral. This these right here are anemones. So the clownfish love the anemones, um, and they will literally just be swimming in the anemone because in nature that gives them protection from the wild. Because the other fish get stung by them. Isn't that interesting that the Lord provides something 
where one fish can hide and another one. <laughs> yeah, he, he was just actually get hurt playing, by playing it. in the anemone. Yeah. And you'll see these like little holes throughout here. That's because a few of these fish, including that guy right there. What is that? That's called the diamond goby. He actually will, again, move the sand around and like make homes for himself underneath the rocks. Gosh. These, now those, are those tangs? Yes, that's a powder blue tang. I don't know why I knew that, except really this whole tank looks like when I snorkeled in, <laughs> in, in Hawaii. That's really what I was going for. I wanted something that reminded me of the tropics in a way that it's like, I can take a breath when I look at it. Yeah. And see just how, how the Lord yeah. works yeah. and how his creation is just gorgeous well he loves variety yes and that's what you you do have huge what is this one that i'm so that is what's called a metallic fox face, fox face. <laughs> and the normal color scheme of that is over there where that yellow one so you're talking about variety those are the same species that were given different colors <laughs> I'm just laughing with them because I just, I get amazed at this stuff. I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> this show is just, I had to shoot this show because I love the variety that God has made in, in these. But this other kind of coral to me is fascinating. Yeah, that's, that's called a toadstool coral. I don't know why it's called okay. toadstool. But what it will actually do is it, it feeds off of two different things. It filters waste out of the tank and also uses the light to produce to feed huh so basically yeah. that helps keep the yeah. tank cleaner while all these other fish dirty it up <laughs> <laughs> you were telling me about one of the fish and i'm not sure which one it is but it actually is can be born Male or something? Or what was that story? They changed genders? Yeah, so that's the clownfish, actually. Oh, the clownfish. So the bigger one is always going to be the female. Huh. The bigger one is the more dominant one, and they, they will always turn to female. And actually, in the wild, if you have a group of clownfish together, if the female leaves or dies off, the next most dominant one will then transition <laughs> to take over that role. For yeah. I love that that purple one. Yeah, he's just he's just a pretty one. Um, he he acts funny, which is why I like him. Oh yeah, you <laughs> so, were telling me that one of them had a sense of humor. Yeah, so that's one of them. And then this guy right here, if I can just like. Oh maybe. yeah. So he's actually trying to defend his territory right now from oh. a ferocious snail that's trying to invade oh, his territory. If you look no at that. Oh, no kidding! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that snail's moving slow, but he's... He's going to get there eventually, he thinks. We're going to put in some other video that uh, I shot earlier in the day when Brandon uh, gave them food. They they really get excited about the food, don't they? <laughs> they really, really do. <laughs> but so a lot of the folks who, you know, they were, our people relate to that because, of course, their dogs and cats <laughs> get excited about the food also. Mm -hmm. But the fish really did, and so we'll put that up, too. And, <laughs> well, and everyone, <laughs> what you have seen today is truly just an example of God's creativity and the way that Brandon has expressed his creativity is through the way that he has arranged this whole... It's like a picture to me, Brandon. Mm -hmm. It's a living art. It's it, living art. Okay, that's right. Living art fantastic that way and uh ever changing too i might add as the fish move around so thank you for letting us enjoy it's kind of like a, a a piece it's like very tranquil it is that's why i really like it very tranquil to watch these fish well thank you very much brandon brandon comes with his folks to church many times and mm -hmm. so anyway thanks everyone See you tomorrow for another show, and it's a good one. Beautiful day. It's wonderful. This is the day that the Lord has made.